you start out, you're more of a care partner, but uh, depending on the illness, as it progresses, you become a caregiver. Make sure you find a doctor or a specialist that you can talk to and work with because they're going to become a very intimate part of your family. We do have a very tight relationship with doctors, um, whatever it is, you know, whatever specialist that we need to be speaking with for whatever may be occurring, we have uh, that kind of communication. You develop that kind of communication. You are the, the person who's going to be able to communicate the best with the physician. I have a deep spiritual faith in God, and um, I know that he put me here for a reason. I firmly believe that, I've always believed that, and he'll, he's not gonna let go. He's not gonna let go of my hand. If I need assistance, if I need help, there's no better entity to go to than God. You may be experiencing something that, with your loved one that someone has already experienced. There's all kinds of support groups within most cities. So I would suggest you reach out to them so they can give you that help and support and information that you may need. It's important to connect with people. You really have to play the hand that life deals you. And uh, either you can fold and just let it overtake you, or you can uh, stay in the game. And, you know, I hope they stay in the game.